The main focus of this lesson is to estimate and record intervals of time. OK, our mental maths objective this morning is to count in steps of five. So the first thing we're going to do is to play a game in a circle together. So a good idea to start this lesson for a warm-up activity is practising counting in steps of five. Right, what we need to do is you need to pass the egg around the circle, counting in fives. Sophie, what would you start with? Zero. Off you go. Zero. This will help the children with their telling of the time on an analogue clock face. 25. 30. 35. 40. To extend the children's thinking about counting in steps of five and to put this again into practice, I played a game with them called Five Peas in a Pot. Right, what we're going to do now, to carry on our counting in steps of five, I have a pot full of five pea coins. I've got an empty pot here. I'm going to drop some of these five pea coins one at a time into the empty pot you need to close your eyes and count how many times you can hear a coin drop into the pot then you need to use your counting in steps of five to tell me how much money will be in this pot it really makes them listen and concentrate and use their counting skills actually physically counting how many 5p coins they can hear falling into the pot okay could you put your hand up and tell me how many coins did you hear drop into the pot Maxine? Seven. Seven, well done. In our classroom we have a TARDIS. This is all about the theme of time travel, which is our topic for this term. For this activity, one of you will go into the TARDIS, close the door and come out when you think 30 seconds is up. We decided to have a go at using the TARDIS in our maths lesson. And as one of the activities which involved the children estimating and recording themselves doing things, we decided that they would love to use the TARDIS for this. Another one of your group will be timing outside 30 seconds on the stopwatch and we will see what the time is on that stopwatch when you come out. We're going to make a tally on the chart just behind you to show when each of you came out. Are you ready? Yes? OK. Seconds. Well done. Very close. So, Michael, where do you think on the tally chart we need to mark it? Yeah. Excellent. OK. Go in. OK. Seconds. It's good to choose fun activities for the children to do, especially ones that will get them moving around. Ready, so you go. How many times can you write your name out in 30 seconds? Four. Ready, steady, go. Can you stand on one leg for 30 seconds? How many times can you jump in and out of a circle in 30 seconds? How many times can you bounce a ball in 30 seconds? The children can use all the data they've collected to create a chart on the interactive whiteboard to clearly illustrate the results that we have from the investigation. Using the tally chart that we put together on the TARDIS, we can have a look at the data on here to see who came out in less than 30 seconds, who came out exactly on 30 seconds, and who came out maybe in more than 30 seconds. Isabella, how many people came out in less than 30 seconds? 19. Thank you, well done. We can use our chart here to put on 19 people. So if we take this up, we can show there that 19 people came out before 30 seconds. Hands up if you came out of the TARDIS exactly 30 seconds. Well done. Kyra, could the you resources you'll need for this lesson will be stopwatches, activity cards for the children to know what they're doing when they arrive at a certain investigation, tally charts around the room for the children to record their data on, and, of course, a TARDIS.